that we're very excited today that uh, Lexi and her newborn foal are being brought back to the farm by Mike and Alison Clark. She's successfully given birth and Alison was there to help her because she decided to foal against a wall and they managed to get the foal out. And it's now up on its feet and is now a month old. It was born on May Day, the 1st of May. And Lexi is very foal proud, as they say. She's quite protective of her foal. And when the vet, vet scanned her halfway through her pregnancy, he thought she was possibly going to give birth to a colt, a male. But what you want to be able to build numbers in the breed is a filly. And thankfully, much to our surprise, she's had a filly foal. Here she comes. There's a good girl. There's a good girl. There we are. <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous. I tell you what, let's, if we walk her out here and away from the donkeys, I tell you what we have got is an Exmoor stallion over there that I might just have to go and shut next door. Do you want to hang on to her for a second? Just had our Exmoor stallion, Willow, in the neighbouring field. And the last thing I wanted him jumping over this wall with a barb top, barbed wire on top of it would have hurt him. And Lexi would have probably kicked his chops in if he'd come in here and tried to get friendly with her. Marvellous. Thank you, Alison. And there she is, the beautiful Lexi. And Alison helped her give birth. And the little foal after our naming competition, we've decided it's going to be Mayflower. So born on the 1st of May and as beautiful as a flower. So that's her little name, Mayflower. Where is she? Where are you, Mayflower? Hiding behind her mum. There she is. There she is. There's a good girl. She is absolutely gorgeous, isn't she? She really is as pretty as a flower. Oh, yeah. He's still a little bit nervous. I'll let Lexi go and they can go for a little run. She'll probably just go and eat some grass. Go on then. Back to her old home. So Alison, you are now just the <laughs> wizard of foaling Suffolk, aren't you? Apparently I've got the magic touch because I can turn colts into fillies now. <laughs> so when Ollie came to scan her during the winter months, he did say, you know, that the dates might not be right. It's quite difficult to work out whether it's a male or female, didn't he? Yeah, he did. So we'll let him off, shall we? Yeah, well, we don't we don't bother anyway, because what you're going to get on the floor is what you're going to get on the floor, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, your dad says you can never put them back in and ask for something different. Exactly. <laughs> it's what, you know, if it's, if it's what it is, it's what it is, isn't it? And when he looked at it on the scan, he couldn't really see which it was, but he thought it was a male, and that's what we were all expecting. But when it was born, it was a bit of a surprise. It was when I lifted a le leg up and found it was a filly instead of a colt, yeah. Well, that's brilliant news. <laughs> and for the breed, we need lots of fillies, don't we? We do, but we've also got um, uses for colts as well to come as stallions in the future, or people like to ride. That seems to be the thing now, is riding these Suffolks. Yeah. You know, and as you normal harness work as well. So they've all got a, they've all got a, a job, yes. but it is nice to have the fillies to get the numbers up to, you know, to breed more foals. Because they were very low at one time. Where were we? Where have we got from to? In 1960, I can't remember what the year was. There was only, I think it was six foals born that what? year. Wow. Yeah. And now we're getting what? So, well, last year there was 32. So far we've had 15. Um, yeah, but we've had more fillies and colts this year. For her herself, now a little Mayflower, as far as the maturity of a Suffolk goes, when will she be able to breed herself? We don't normally put our mares into foal till they're four, because yeah. um, they're a slow maturing horse. Um, you don't want to do it too quick with these big breeds. 
So, and they're fine when, they're fall, when they fall down. Sure. And it's just, just right for us. Which why it takes such a long time with horses to build up numbers in the breed. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And for you now at home, how many Suffolks have you got? Oh, I think there's 26 or 27 with the five foals. Um, and we've got another four foals due. Well, one tomorrow, one next week, and then two in June as well. Goodness me. And we're covering for next year as well now. So you're getting mares pregnant again yeah. with the stallions you've got. Yeah. And there's quite a clever genetic system, isn't there? So you can work out that they're not too closely related. Yeah, the spark. It's what they call sparks. So they put all the mares and all the stallions through a database and then they match the mares up that are green for stallion, green stallion mating. Yes. They encourage green and yellow matings, but not the red ones. Sure. Yeah, so you can put your mare and your stallion in the system and see, if yeah. you get a red, it's a no. If it's a green or orange, you can go. Yeah. Yeah, that's quite clever. Yeah. And then it's genetically more diverse. That's it. That's, that's the whole idea of it. Yes. Because if they're genetically too close, then they'll, what, have problems giving birth or maybe have deformed foals yeah, or just exactly. won't conceive. Yeah, deformities or, yeah, or get illnesses that they shouldn't be getting, yeah. you know, because they're too close to home, really. Sure. And how many foals do you think you've had born at Whole Beach? Right. Till Violet was born, we've had 122 live foals. Wow. And that's not counting the visiting mares that we've had in. They, those are just our horses. Wow. So people like me who bring them to you because you're an expert at it, there's dozens more of those <laughs> uh, yeah, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. But it's just 122 of our own breeding. My word. Put on the floor, yeah. So, so well, do, you, do you think you and your dad would be the most experienced at foaling down Suffolk's in the country? Um, us and the Suffolk Trust, I would think, because yeah. they follow a lot of horses down there Do as they? well. Yeah. yeah. And what's it like for you when they're being born? Do you get stressed? Do you get worried? Or is it no. just... No, you can't get stressed. You can't get worried. You just dive in and help. There's nothing you can do about it. Oh, well, you're a hero yeah. in my mind. <laughs> <laughs> and a magician, turning colts oh, into fillies. Yeah, let's see if that works next year as well. <laughs> <laughs> so the plan with Lexi now is we'll give her a rest, won't we? Yeah, give her a rest. And then next spring we'll put her back into foal again. Yeah. Um, we have tried this time with the foal in heat, but of course she was very foal proud, so it got a bit dangerous and she yeah. didn't want to, so we'll just leave it for now. And there's no harm giving her a rest, is there? Because she lost a foal, then she had yeah. a brave heart, now she's had this one. So she's had three pregnancies in a row, so a year off will do her good, won't yeah, it? Yeah, it will. Yeah. yeah, and then we'll get going again next spring. Amazing. So, yeah. All right, well, thank you so much That's for all your help. Right. You're That's a marvel. Right. And it's lovely to have little Mayflower on the farm. All the visitors of the farm park will absolutely absolutely adore her and I know the naming competition was so popular hundreds and hundreds of people wrote in but I think that's a good choice of a name yeah well thank you that's all right I was just hoping it was going to be something sensible <laughs> <laughs> and have you heard how Braveheart's getting on down at Michael York's yes he's fine he's now been gelded he's been leading him around and he's made friends with all the other horses but I'm afraid he's not called Braveheart anymore because it's a bit of a mouthful when he's shouting at him. <laughs> so he's now called Wally. Wally. Well, that's good. Wallace, like... Wally. Yeah, so William Wallace off Braveheart. That's good, isn't it? So yeah. Wally's a good name. Yeah, so he's <laughs> called him Wally now. <laughs> and I heard when he started training him, he was a bit lively and started to kick a little bit. Has he got over that? Yeah, he's got over that now. Yeah, he did kick somebody, actually. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah. No, he's fine. He's settled in. Yeah, he's absolutely fine. Amazing. So... How long before they get him in harness? Um, he'll probably be three, I think, won't he? Two, well, start at two. Yes, OK, so it'll be a little while yeah, yet. Yeah, yeah, but they'll bit him and long rein him and that to start off with and then yeah. get pulling a tyre or whatever. Right. And then progress from there. But Michael drives horses anyway, does sure. weddings and funerals, so that's what Braveheart will be doing and ploughing matches. So there's people like you and your dad, Nigel Oakley and Michael, but there's few and far between of those sorts of people who have that experience and knowledge to be able to break a heavy horse and drive them. No, it's a, a lot of people send them away to be done. I mean, it takes about six to eight weeks to break them. And then once you've broken them, they have to, you have to keep going with them. Yes. You know. Yeah. And I mean, well, we need young people learning those skills, don't we? We do, exactly. Yeah, it's yeah, difficult. Yeah, we do. We do. Well, time for me and you to learn more. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, you can teach me. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you very much, Alison. You're an absolute star. We'll keep in touch. Yeah, we All right, take care. Bye-bye.
Well, that is an absolute delight. We've got Lexi back with a beautiful little filly foal Mayflower. And I know the visitors to the Cotswold Farm Park are really excited about her coming back to be on display and they're going to love seeing her. It's really, really special to have a newborn foal, but particularly a filly. Makes me feel quite emotional.